This is Code.org. Let's see what we're doing. A meteorologist is creating a weather class to represent the weather conditions in the city. Again, why can't we be the meteorologist? Congratulations, you're a meteorologist. You don't want it? Too bad. That's who we are. Oh, and we're a coding meteor. Okay, I'm going to get started. Write a mutator method called set temperature in the weather class. Where's up? Oh, yep, right there. Uh, to assign a new value to temperature instance variable, that just means this thing up here. Okay, so we need to write a set temperature method. Oh, and they helpfully have it here. Okay, so what is this going to be? It's going to be public, right? What's its access modifier? It's not going to return anything because it's a setter. So keep that in mind when you're just setting a value, it's not going to return anything. Uh, usually, I guess in some cases you might want to do so. With that being said, it's returning nothing. That's void, set, set temperature, boom, 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 and bracket. So what does it want me to do? Well, if we're setting the temperature, let me go double check, hat, double check a double, we need to allow a parameter, and the parameter is going to be a double. Um, I'm just going to call my new temp. The name doesn't really matter. It just, well, it should make sense. And now, how is this going to work? Well, I'm going to say, okay, that temperature value, we're going to set it to whatever new temp is. Whatever is provided to this method, now the class is temperature value, which I hopefully spelled right, will be set here. I didn't spell it right. I... All right, so that's looking good. Let me just throw in a comment real quick on top to explain. Assigns a new valuable very a new value to the temperature instance variable. Whew, got there. All right. Assign a new value to Dallas weather object. Okay, so now over here, uh, call the mutator method on the Dallas weather object to assign a new value to its temperature instance variable, then print. Okay. So looks like they set us up here. We got that. All right, so now we just need to Dallas weather. Boop dot and what was that method well it was set temperature boop 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 and we're going to pick a temperature and then what do we want to do call the accessor method on the oh and print the results so now it wants us to print the results um i'll say uh it's a double so i'm just going to say double temp is equal to and now we need a print for it I'm going to do a quick little copy paste here to make my life easier. Dallas new temperature or maybe sure updated Dallas temperature just to make sure it's distinct. Oh, and I put a variable here. We don't necessarily have to. We could call it directly as they are doing. So I'll leave it at that. Let's see what I broke. Oh, I need to give it a value. Do they tell us what? Nothing. Okay, what's a nice temperature? 72.5. Sure. Bam and bam. Let's give this a shot. Looking good. So guys, just remember with setters, you don't need to return anything. It's a void type of method. Make sure you take that parameter and you're setting the value of an instance variable. That being said, onward.